right, we have a new formula, so we get to use maybe some more singing, some more rap. Um, I will tell you, I think volume is easier than surface area. So the day you learned surface area, you might have been pulling your hair out because it seemed like it took so much work. Um, don't worry about it. There is a picture in the book of a cube, and so they talk about cubic units. Um, but we're going to just jump into the equation or the formula. Volume equals area of base times the height. Okay, not to be confused with lateral surface area, which was perimeter of the base times the height. Volume is area of the base times the height. Just think we're talking about more space. We're going three dimensional. We're not looking at the flat surfaces anymore. Area of the base times the height. Volume on the right, solid, desert, desert. 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 Volume on the right, solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. The volume on the right, solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. The volume on the right, solid, desert, desert. 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 Volume on the right, solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. The volume on the right, solid. Okay. So that means we're gonna have to remember a lot of equations for area. Okay, so we're going to look at example one. I see a triangle. So already I'm thinking, what's the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle, I'm just going to write it down so we don't forget, equals one half base times height. Okay, important because we're dealing with area. But I haven't even read it yet, and I already realized that that was going to probably happen. Okay, the base of the right prism is this isosceles triangle shown. The height of the right prism is 6 centimeters, so this is 6 centimeters high. Find the volume of the right prism. Prism, not prison. Do you feel like you're in prison right now? You might. Okay, so the area, I'm going to write volume equals area of the base times height. Okay, how do we find the area of the base? Well, this is the base, so we just want the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is one-half base times the height of the triangle. So that's the careful thing, is do not con confuse that H with this H. We could even do a big H if we wanted to, but um, make sure we don't get those confused. Or find the area of the base first and then bring it back to this formula. Okay, so let's plug in what we know. One half, the base of this triangle is four. The height of this triangle from bottom to the top is eight. And the height of the um, prism is six. Okay, so now there we have everything we need. So surface area, we had to do this like 10 times, right? We only have to do it once. And now we just have to multiply that through. So 1 half, 4 times 8. Well, 4 times 8 is 32, and a half of 32 is 16. Or you could say a half of 4 is 2 times 8 is 16. Times 6, though. So now we've got 16 times 6, right? So, hey, I'm not embarrassed. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Whoops. I'm embarrassed when I do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's okay to have to do some work. And I get 96. Maybe I should have known that. Maybe not. It's late. I don't care. <laughs> I figured out how to get it. That's all that matters. So now my volume is 96. 96 what? Well, we are dealing with volume. So we're dealing with cubic. We're three-dimensional. So we've got centimeters cubed. Okay. All right, let's try this. Not a triangle anymore. The base of the right prism is 8 meters high. A base of a right prism is 8 meters high. So what I'm finding out here is that's 8. Okay. And the find the volume of it. And the here is basically the bird's eye view. If we were looking down on this, on the top here, it would look like this. So we need to find the area of this and multiply it by 8. 
the area of this and multiply it by 8. So how do we find the area of this? Well, this is not a normal shape, so we're going to have to part it out. There's two parts to this. We have a rectangle and a triangle. Do you think we have what we need to figure out this area? Well, this area is length times width, right? Is it 6 times 4 or 6 times 10? Don't be fooled. It's 6 times 4 because from here to here is 4. From here to here is 4. So then what's from here to here? Well, the whole thing is 10, so this has to be a 6. Okay, so we have a 6 by 4 triangle or rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and say the area of the rectangle is 6 times 4, which is 24. Okay, and the area of the triangle is 1 half base, which is 6, times height. From here to here is our height, and that's 6. So 1 half of 6 times 6, or how about 1 half of 6 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Okay, so the area of the base now is 24 plus 18. Okay, I'm doing this, 3, so it's 42 meters squared, right? The area, because we just dealt with a flat area. And now we're going to multiply that times 8 high to find our volume. Volume equals area of the base times height. So the area of the base we already found was 42. And here, notice it was meters squared. And the height of this figure is 8 meters. Okay, so if we do 42 times 8, I am going to cheat because of time. 42 times 8 is 336. And then notice we have m squared and m to the 1. And last, um, well, I thought maybe last. Anyway, so now we have m cubed because we have two m's and one m, so m cubed. And that is our answer. That's our volume. So it should feel a little less tricky than the surface area. Okay? So why don't you go ahead and give this a shot on your own, and then we'll get back together. All right, so I see it's 10 kilometers high, so I'm going to write a 10 right here just so I know. Okay, and it's area of base times height. So the area of the base, all right, of course they have a circle, and now we've got to deal with area of a circle. You knew that was coming, so in fact I'm going to give you a little rap song for area of a circle. And as you listen to it, I will write about the area of this circle. And just know we have to cut it in half when we're done. I'm just going to write the area of this guy in here. Area is 30 um, kilometers squared because it's 6 times 5, right? I'm giving us 1. Would that be nice? Now, I, and notice that this is 3 and this is 3, so that's why that added up to 6. They could have left that 6 off. Okay, so cue the music and watch me go. Area of the semicircle, that looks like a D. Here, I'll just write it in there. Area of the semicircle is 9 pi over 2. Okay. So the total area of the base You see where we got those? 9 pi over 2. All right, so volume equals area of base times height. Area of the base is 9. And then times the height is 10. Okay. 
So now 10 times everybody in here, you're going to hate this. That's um, 10 times 30. I'm just going to show it. Plus 10 times 9 pi over 2. See how I took the 10, distributed him to both of those. Distributive property, remember? Okay, so that equals 300. And what is that? That's 90 pi divided by 2, or 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is a 5. 5 times 9 is 45 pi. And then I Okay. Okay, my book has a mistake in it, so I went back and checked. We're good. They have a mistake. They put parentheses around um, something they should have. So I don't know if you have the same book. If yours doesn't match up, I'm sticking to this. I am not changing my mind. I think they made a mistake. All right, example four. Same thing. Area of the base times the height. So now we get to have a full circle. So should we cue the music and find the area of this circle? All right, let's do it. Area of the base is a zero, or zero is a circle. Okay. And now we get to multiply it by 11. Volume equals area of base times height. Okay. 11 times 36 is 396 pi inches cubed. Example 5 looks terrible, but it's actually um, a trick. A base of the right solid has an area of 52 feet squared. The height of the right solid is 15 feet. Find the volume of the right solid. So you're thinking, okay, what? How do we find the area of this? And it's 15 feet high, so I'm going to write a 15 right here. Okay, but notice, remember, volume equals area of the base times the height. See how much work it took us above to find the area of the base? Well, look at this. They gave it to us. They did half the job for us. The area of the base is 52. They just flat out told us. So the area of the base is 52. The height is 15. All we have to do is multiply those two. Okay, and I'm going to maybe look in the book and see that I get 780 feet cubed. So when you first saw this example, you probably thought, oh no, and then look how simple it was because they gave us the area of the base. Thank you very much, book people. Now practice is next. I'm going to work through it, but I want you to do it as well. And um, I'll talk a little bit, but I want you, really want you to turn this off try them yourself. You're going to be tempted to watch this and just do it. Please try it yourself, okay? So that's the only way to learn. All right, so we see that this is 10 inches high. I'm going to write it there, but I don't know if you could see it very well. I tried to darken it in. Okay, 10 inches high. This is 4 by 10. The radius here is 2, so it looks like I have two different shapes. The area of this is 40 inches squared. I'm just going to write it because the rectangles are easy, 4 by 10. And then the area of the half circle equals pi r squared cut in half. Okay? And the radius is 2, so it's 2 to the second power, which is 4. 4 pi over 2. Well, 4 pi over 2 is 4 divided by 2. 2 pi. Okay, so that's the area of this thing, is 2 pi. So now to add them up, the area of the base is, I left no room for that, I'll write it a little bit farther over, 
is 40 plus 2 pi. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do volume. Volume equals area of the base times height. Why do I write that over and over? Because then I don't forget. Okay? So area of the base was 40 plus 2 pi. And the height, again, was 10. So we multiply everybody times 10. And when I do that, I get 400 plus 20 pi inches cubed. Okay. Here's our next picture. A right circular cylinder has a radius of 6 feet. There, they put it in the picture. And a length of 20 feet. And that's in the picture. So now we're going to find the area or the volume by finding the area of a circle and multiplying it by 20. Okay, so the area equals pi r squared and that is pi times 6 squared which is 36 pi. Now we don't cut that in half because it's a whole circle, it's not a half a circle, a semicircle. Okay, so there's the area of the base and our height is 20. So area, oops, volume equals area of the base times height. Area of the base is 36 pi and height is 20. Okay, 36 times 20 is, uh, 2 times 36 is what, 72, so I'm going to go 720 pi feet cubed. Okay, now the last one looks terrible, but it's again one of our shortcut ones because here they are. They gave us an area already. So volume equals area of the base times height. Area of the base is 50. Our height is 12. I'm going to write that. 50 times 12. Well, 5 times 12 is 60, so 50 times 12 is 600 centimeters cubed. So that one was, and it's funny, the last one's usually harder, but it wasn't. Volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. Volume of the right solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. Volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. Volume of the right solid is equal to the area of the base times 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 the height. Volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is it is it volume of the right solid is it.